the Cinegram Crunch. Audrey's Coffee House and Lounge in South County, Rhode Island. Welcome to another episode of Coffee Talk. Today, we are talking about the Oscars and the buzz that I get from coffee and from Oscars and not Oscar the Grouch but actual Oscars. We've watched quite a few movies this year. Wonka, Poor Things, and a few others. Some of them have even been nominated. Barbie, but not Barbie herself. So we're going to discuss what we think that um, should win. My guest, Andrew, who will just be a disembodied voice, but I'll insert a picture of what you think he looks like. <laughs> this straw holder will represent Andrew. So Andrew, who do you think will win Best Picture? Uh, it's probably between, let's see, hold on. Go on. I had the list, I got a Best Picture, hold on. Best picture is really it's not gonna look. It's Barbie. It's gonna be Barbie. Barbie's going to win. That's what Andrew says. I quite agree. Although Killers of the Flower Moon will give it a run for its monies or flowers. Yes. Because the Oscars darling Martin Scorsese did direct that. Yes, and no. He makes true cinema. Yes, he makes true cinema, unlike other movies that are just thrill rides at an amusement park for your amusement. So he's making fun of you, the audience. Thanks a lot for the Irishman, jerk. <laughs> I slept a long time. Um, no offense to Irish people. Sorry, Pat. But that movie was very long. I prefer The Hobbit. There you go. And Angela's Ashes. Just now, speaking of four things. Yes. <laughs> that was a nice segue. The list actually loaded now, so I have. Oh, you have a list of the things. Yeah. So. Four things is on the list. A lot. Yeah. It's like a reimagining of uh, 2015's Frankenstein. Yeah. So, but done with a woman instead. Yeah. And a lot more. Yes. There was a lot more skin. Yeah. And apples. What do you think of them apples? <laughs> no. See. I would like to have some of the, the food that was shown in that movie. Yeah. Mark Ruffalo nominated, Emma Stone nominated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Lily Gladstone nominated for Killers of the Flower Moon, which I would actually love if she won, being the first Native woman to win an Oscar. Oh, well, that'd be good. That would be good. I mean, Greta Gerwig and Margot Robbie should have been nominated. Mm -hmm. Especially since right, Margot, yeah. Robbie, Margot Robbie yeah. was Barbie. She is Barbie. The and movie Ryan was, was... Yeah, and then we, Ryan Gosling got nominated and he was just Ken. He literally sang a song of just being just Ken. But, but the theme you were talking about before we started recording was like, if you show skin, you're more likely to get. Yes, he that's was right. Walking, he was walking around without his shirt on. That's right. Time. So the the Oscar committee really just likes people who show their skin, and just does gratuitous s's all the time, and or is murdered or is um, savaged in some way, mm -hmm. or vigorously jumped. 
so furiously uh, jumping. Yeah, they're all vigorously jumping, and I'm pretty sure Ken was jumping a lot. He wanted to jump on Barbie, but Barbie was like, no, it's girls' night. And that's why she wasn't nominated. Barbie does have two two songs nominated, though. Oh, yes. Original what was songs. I made for? What was I made for? And I'm just Ken. And I'm just Ken. Billie Eilish should win for that. What was I made for? Nothing. Or for men's amusement. And this is Women's Month, so we will march on and hang our hats on signposts. Like Beth said, we'll march on. So in conclusion, I think Lily Gladstone or Emma Stone, one of the Stones, will win. Mm -hmm. And Barbie should win with America Ferrera winning for that supporting actress and um, cinematography poor things production design barbie uh oppenheimer should maybe they could win sound oppenheimer should get either sound or uh zone of interest yes zone of interest and that is my zone of interest mm -hmm. that zone that zone. All right, everybody, that's been another Coffee Talk. Tell us in the comments who you want to win, or if you really like Martin Scorsese and hate me for saying bad things about him. Oh, I know. So sad. Oh, Holdovers. We, we are going to watch that eventually. Yeah. Heard a lot of good things about it. Giamatti in it. Paul Giamatti. Yep. He's pretty good. So, from me and Andrew, have a lovely Coffee Talk day. Say goodbye, Andrew. Bye. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> He's sleeping. <laughs>